In the Giardini, I'm showing a, a new group of monotypes, which is a type of printmaking that um, produces in, uh, unique works. So it's somewhere between drawing and, uh, and painting, which is very interesting to me because I'm interested in, the, I guess, spaces between things and spaces between mediums and materials. It's, it has been a very useful term for me, uh, the container, and to think about how uh, this concept of a container travels across a lot of things that I'm interested in. It goes from the physical material world, um, where it can occupy a lot of scales, from like a vase or a, a jar to a shipping container to the psychological world. And it also can be used in relation to spaces, to bodies, and to artworks. And I'm especially interested in this idea of the container in relation to my artworks, um, in terms of how they make meaning and how, they, um, how I built them around a sense of openness and almost unfinishedness that then requires a relationship with a viewer to be filled up with um, a particular sense of um, meaning, whether that is a, a, an image or an emotion or any kind of association is invited in the work. And then in my idea, the, the artwork work empties out again like a container to be refilled in the next encounter with a different person. I use several different materials. Here we're standing in front of technically works on paper. In the Arsenale, I'm showing rugs that are woven from wool in Mexico and Oaxaca, as well as uh, paintings which I make in a kiln. They're made, um, they're uh, enamel on steel, which technically is glass that is uh, fused onto metal at high temperatures. I'm interested in the rug as an object that can occupy the space of painting. And specifically with the rugs in the Arsenale, I've been interested in the idea of a frieze and how a frieze is related to the verticality of bodies, but also contains movement. But I have shown the rugs on the floor. And again, it's a, a question of being in between of an applied art and a so-called fine art, if you want to talk about those traditional categories. It's a, they're fully functional as rugs. They can function on the floor. You can use them as a rug, but they can also sit on the wall and perform the role of the painting. Several years ago, my work was often described as abstraction, and I never thought of my work as purely abstract, certainly not pure in any way, and I started to import imagery. The shoe is um, one of those images. I found that shoe on, a, uh, on the sign of a shoemaker's store. Um, I made a drawing of it many years ago, and then last year I started to use the high heel shoe. And it seems to, again, be, like the question around the shoe is for, for me, how can something be very legible, very iconic, but still be open? Uh, to be interpreted in relation to different kinds of ideas, politics, experiences, 